Uh, from Capulani Community College. Nice to see you, Joe. And nice to see you. And anytime you get tired of being governor, we have a position for you to teach. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, or you're welcome to come and talk anytime. <laughs> Thank you um, very much. My concern is you mentioned uh, that the university was basically the university in the Pacific. Yes. Actually, I think what both the state and the university don't realize, the potential of the university to become a global university, to take advantage of all the resources that we have at the university. I know at Manoa you have the Center for Chinese Studies, which is the largest in the whole country. Yes. You have centers for Japanese studies, for everything else. You have an East-West Center right there next to them. Right. I don't think that either the state or the university appreciates the potential of the university, what they have there, and how it can be used for the economic benefit of the state. Because, I agree with you. You know, what can we do to get both the university and the state, especially the legislators, to understand how important it is to internationalize and globalize the system? You have all the resources there in terms of people. Now how do we get them to act on that? I, I, that's a good point, Joe. It's something that I'm going to try and pursue more fully. Um, um, by happenstance, uh, both f from when I was in Congress and, and when, I, when I had the opportunity to, uh, to uh, work a little bit more fully in the National Governors Association, um, I met Xi Jinping when uh, he was Vice President of China and helped to put together some and, and participate in some what he calls uh, sub-national sub contacts governors of Chinese uh, uh, provinces and, and uh, also to meet the, the president of Taiwan and uh, the, the governor of Taiwan province uh, and some others, uh, Okinawa, University of Ryukyu's with President Greenwood. Um, we're missing out on this. Uh, at the Travel Industry Management School um, is an ideal opportunity for us to become the center, a global center, for training of, uh, of students who want to be in the hospitality and travel and, uh, 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 industries. People don't realize travel and tourism and hospitality is like the second or third largest enterprise, business enterprise in the world. It's gigantic and uh, changing, and we're right at the centerpiece of it. That nobody else is in a position to do that. Um, I couldn't agree more. Um, you know who understands that? Uh, uh, Chaminade and HPU understand it. They're out there pushing hard on the international student side of things, and I'm supporting them on it. I, I think it's terrific. But we've got the Chinese Study Center, the Korean Study Center, um, that uh, 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 um, and Asian languages, unsurpassed, unparalleled, anywhere in the country. And the average person in Hawaii doesn't have a clue that that that's not only there, but what its capabilities and possibilities are. And we need to support that. And I, I pledge to you that if I get the opportunity again, again, now that, that we're out of the fiscal hole that we were in, that I'm going to move uh, as, as expeditiously as I can and as fully as I can to try to engage uh, wh whoever I can, in, especially in the Asia Pacific region, in, in, uh, in, um, in um, exchanges, including faculty. I do not understand why we don't globalize our faculty. I brought this up over and over again to various regions and presidents over the years. Why don't we have joint appointments uh, with, uh, with other universities throughout the world so that professors come here for a year and we go there and they have joint, joint uh, they hold joint tenure and joint appointments and that we build faculty housing to accommodate that and to encourage that. Um, I know there's a faculty committee right now that is trying to deal with the question of housing because I've, lo I've, I've looked at it and encouraged it and I think they've got terrific ideas and where they want to go and so on and it's completely lost in the system somewhere. Um, uh, and if we did that, if we had a comprehensive housing uh, and, and compensation 
and joint appointment program, I think it would be terrific. I think people, uh, other universities would love to have uh, uh, professors, researchers, uh, teachers from the University of Hawaii system and make joint appointments. We can explore it. And that means, that also brings in funds because if you get, I've been talking to, to uh, philanthropists right now. Uh, believe me, there's a lot of money out there in Asia right now and people looking to see how they can they can take a philanthropic idea, uh, foundation ideas. This is this is just beginning to permeate the uh, the thinking and philosophy in the Asia Pacific region, and we can we can uh, can nurture that and take advantage of it and look for partners uh, that will help us in the system. What it takes is a little imagination and commitment, and I and I, I, I I'm I'm committed to trying to do that. I, I couldn't agree with you more, Joe. Hi, Governor. Sorry to bother you again. Uh, I guess we're getting down near when you have to get up and make up for what I've no, no, just, I've just done. No, no, I've got big, better elbows than some. Yeah. Uh, I, the tuition problem for our students, yes. as, as uh, the uh, state support has gone down, tuition's gone up, and right. our students are piling up debt. And Hawaii is, is I think, the best in the country, or has, has the lowest debt, but still it, it cramps their futures. That's and right. And there are two models that people have come up with, and I'd love your thoughts on, on whether they're possible or practical. And the Oregon model is that uh, tuition is free, but you repay us a uh, reasonable rate in the future as you make money. And mm -hmm. the other one is a more radical one that, uh, and this would probably apply best to four-year colleges, that uh, tuition is again free, and that's it. You, if you can get in, meet our qualifications, uh, we will basically cover your costs. Well, um, I'm just an immediate reaction, right? Uh, it's not necessarily thoughtful um, in the sense of in depth. Um, because of our physical circumstances, I'm, a, I'm a very hesitant to say if you don't get in, then you're done for, because then you're back to the question of, well, where do I go? Yeah. What do I do? Um, and that comes back to a money question too, because it's not like you can go, go over to the next county or drive across the state line. Um, and uh, th would that extend down into community colleges too then? Um, Be up for discussion. My, my, you know, my instinct always is, is, is give everybody a chance because believe me, when I got my teaching assistantship, for example, I really didn't wake up until I was a senior. I still don't know how I, 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 it had to be because they just wanted to get somebody from the East Coast. Oh, here, he applied, bring him. Um, uh, I never woke up until I was a senior that, wait a minute, I, I got this brain for a reason, you know, and, and, and things opened up for me. Um, <laughs> among other things, I read Bertrand Russell, okay? I started reading Bertrand Russell and I started thinking, wait a minute. I don't know anything, and uh, and T. E. Lawrence, and you know Philip Wiley. I mean, it's uh, it's really eclectic with me. Um, and Paul Tillich, and uh, I began to read theologians, and uh, uh, so I'm low.